Th this contract is, uh, is another step in the long-term partnership, which is actually of two decades between, between Energo Atom and, and Westinghouse. And it has several novelties. The first one is it addresses a new type of reactor. And obviously, uh, uh, that's something that expands further the cooperation between Energo Atom and Westinghouse. The second one is it plans for increasing the localization and in particular uh, leveraging the skills, the capabilities and the competencies of Atom Energomash uh, here in Ukraine uh, to manufacture a certain number of components and for the which are used in the fuel assemblies, not only for the Ukrainian nuclear power plants, but potentially also for export and for, doing, uh, for creating more business opportunities uh, outside of Ukraine. For Ukraine, first it brings also another better performing type of fuel in the nuclear power plants and it's also a fuel that allows better load following of the nuclear plants and we know renewable is important to Ukraine so the combination of nuclear and renewable is the perfect combination, the perfect match for an energy policy. And last but not least, it's also a way for Ukraine to improve its energy security, to improve its independence uh, from, uh, from other types of sources but also Strengthening the localization of the components participates to the energy security of the overall value chain. So Westinghouse is, uh, is engaged as a, in the long run and in the long-term partnership with, with Energo Atom. So obviously we would be more than happy to participate also to this page of the, of the nuclear energy and nuclear and energy policy uh, of Ukraine. Um, we have already had some dialogue with Energo Atom to propose a certain number of areas of cooperation, especially on the completion of KHNP 3 and 4. Uh, for instance, in the areas of fuel or instrumentation control, uh, other types of systems where we believe we could bring other value than what, what Energo Atom could have with, uh, you know, with other alternatives. So um, these are definitely things for which we would be more than happy to contribute, as we do today with the fuel of the VVR440. What we see is in many countries, the people are discovering, I would say rediscovering, the virtues of nuclear energy. First, they see that the track record in terms of safety of the nuclear industry has been spotless and has been well above what you see in other types of forms of energy. Um, and that's what is true on safety is also true on environmental protection. We all know, we all know the benefits of nuclear energy in terms of CO2 emissions reduction and, and so on. The other piece is the competitiveness of the economics and the International Energy Agency is very clear on the fact that the existing nuclear plants have among the lowest costs of operation among all the fuels. And that's something which is also an advantage for energy because when you have the environmental advantage and the cost advantage, then obviously it becomes an obvious part of the solution. And this is the way we view nuclear energy is in combination, for instance, with renewables, it can really help to decarbonize uh, the, the overall energy system. So it's with pleasure that we see Ukraine also embracing this vision. Um, we will be more than happy to support it, to contribute to, the, to that vision. And, uh, and I'm a strong believer that nuclear energy is an unavoidable piece of the solution, in particular in terms of affordable energy, but also in terms of uh, fight against the climate change. Last but not least, and that's particularly true for Ukraine, uh, nuclear energy brings lots of expertise and can really create lots of jobs and qualified jobs. I mean, there, was, uh, there are statistics which are circulating that the number of, uh, we're talking about 20,000 man years for one nuclear plant of about 1,000 megawatt electrical, which is considerable amount of qualified jobs which are created and nurtured by the nuclear energy industry. So for a country like Ukraine, which has lots of talents and scientific knowledge, it's an obvious choice, which matches perfectly the, the skills. That's a very difficult question. I would say both items are really very important and we are really indeed very happy for uh, both the signing of the VVR 440 contract, but also the letter of intent for uh, extending and expanding our cooperation with Atom Gomash, which we started uh, already uh, a couple of years ago and now we are uh, continuing that cooperation and and to us they are integral and they are integral part of the overall cooperation between uh, Westinghouse and and um, Energo Atom and its division so 
uh, it's very difficult to separate those and I'm really looking forward to, to working with Energatom on, on continued cooperation on those contracts. Within the 440 contract, it, it is a testimony of the cooperation and, and uh, um, partnership that we've had with Energatom to supply fuel also to VVR 440 uh, reactors. Uh, this is indeed a new market, a new relationship and start of a long-term relationship. And within the letter of intent for um, uh, localization of manufacturing of components, it is also very important since we started qualifying Atom Energomash as a supplier to Westinghouse for uh, fuel to VVR1000. We are now looking and exploring the opportunities uh, to also extend that to VVR440, but also possibly fuel to outside of Ukraine. And uh, this is the letter of intent to, to increase and expand our cooperation to have Atom Energomash to be a supplier to Westinghouse. Um, indeed, we are counting on that this contract and this relationship with Energatom for the VVR 440 will be the start of expanding our uh, uh, supply for VVR 440 operators outside of Ukraine. And, and obviously, we did supply this product to Luisa in Finland once upon a time, so we look forward to working with them again. We do know that uh, Hungary has many VVR 440 reactors. We know Chess has many VVR 440 reactors, 440 reactors and, uh, and obviously also Slovakia that have uh, four and they're also building two more VVR 440 reactors. So we are really looking for expanding it and indeed uh, uh, Ukraine did take the first step of the diversification uh, according to the EU mandate and we're looking forward to some of the European countries to also uh, get on the boat and, and diversify uh, their fuel supply uh, and, and uh, uh, look for an opportunity outside of the current suppliers. Of course, uh, in all relationships, uh, there's going to be times where you agree and there's going to be times where you do not agree. But uh, the good thing with the discussions with Energatom is that we both have a solution uh, mind in uh, resolving issues that may be on the table. And it's really important that both parties feel that uh, this is a good contract for, for them. And, and we have been discussing the VVR 440 diversification for a long time. We have done a feasibility study. Mr. Fragment was here about a year ago and signed a memorandum of understanding. We followed through the feasibility study. We did a technical and economical assessment and showed that there is a business case for diversifying VVR 440. And, and of course, in all negotiation, uh, as long as it's done in a professional manner, which we always do, then uh, we always come to the final conclusion that uh, it's a contract that both parties uh, are happy with and, and we are extremely happy to continue uh, both expanding and increasing our relationship with Energatom and we look forward to additional business, including for them to be our supplier as well with, uh, with the localization of the components from Atom and Gomash.